So I'll bite. You've now mentioned twice that there's going to be more American help uh, to the forces of freedom. What specifically are you talking about and what kind of confidence do you have that that will change the year long kind of standoff there? Well, we're looking at, I guess, I would say positive and negative things we can do. And on the positive side, uh, you know, Congress has voted a fair amount of money to help the Democratic opposition in Venezuela. And we will be thinking uh, of uh, <coughs> ways to use those funds and to try to get other countries to give political support, uh, diplomatic support, financial support to the forces of freedom in Venezuela. And on the negative side, we are looking at additional sanctions, personal sanctions, economic sanctions, um, that we think will bring more pressure yet on the regime. How much money and um, what, are, what is that being used for currently? Um, I'm a little reluctant to, to go into detail on that because I don't remember the exact numbers, the final, final number. Uh, but we have done an agreement with the legitimate government of um, Venezuela, a development agreement, um, and we are able to do things to help, for example, the free press in Venezuela, to help people keep publishing and to keep broadcasting. Uh, we have some funds that we can use for the National Assembly. Um, so uh, there are a variety of things. This is really be, this is all being done through, or not all, mostly being done through AID, but also the Democracy and Human Rights Bureau. Um, here at state. 